ending with understanding the truth of suffering. 2. There is a cause of suffering. We commit to understanding that. Craving leads to suffering. 3. There is a way of ending suffering. We commit to understanding and experiencing that less craving leads to less suffering. 4. There is a path that leads to ending suffering. We commit to faulty, dash, that in the path. Like a map that shows us the path, these truths help us find our way in recovery. The first noble truth, there is suffering. Some of the ways in which we may experience suffering are obvi, dash, house, like poverty, hunger, pain, disappointment, and feeling separated or excluded. There is also suffering due to the divisions of our world, such as war, colonization, and oppression. Some are less obvious, like feelings of cravings, anxiety, stress, and uncertainty. We also suffer as we struggle with birth, aging, sickness, and death. As much as we learn to avoid what we consider unpleasant and hold on to what we label as pleasant, this it is. Dash. Faction, separation, loss, and injustice still may frequently arise. Suffering occurs whenever we fail to see the true nature of our existence, when we insist on controlling and altering our reality. The first noble truth rests on the understanding that our lives seem unsatisfactory because experiences are impermanent and imprison. Dash. How? Our senses which the Buddha understood to include not just hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touch, but also thinking are often unruly. Dash. Able and temporary, which means that the way we experience and make sense of the world is constantly changing and subjective. We suffer the dash, because we keep expecting these temporary experiences to be permanent and absolute, and to satisfy our craving for pleasure or to avoid pain. Many of us have suffered by trying and failing to control our dependencies, habits, and addictions. We've used every kind of willpower, dash, or bargaining, planning, and magical thinking, each time imagining that result would be different, and blaming ourselves when it turned out that same. How many times did we promise, just this one last time, then, I'm done, I'll just use a drink on the weekends, or only after work, or, only on special occasions, I'll never drink in the morning, I won't do that, hard stuff, I'll never get high alone, I'll never use at work or around mine. I never drink and drive. I never use needles. How many diets have we tried? How many times have we said? We wouldn't binge, or purge, or restrict calories, or over-exercise. How many times have we looked at the scars on our arms and vowed to never cut again? How many times have we read our wounds? Heal only to break them open once more. How many limits have we set on ourselves around technology? Full work, only to get pulled back in. How many times have we vowed to have no more one-night stands, vowed to stay away from certain people or places or websites? How many times have we crossed our own? Boundaries and been consumed by shame. How many mornings did we wake up hating ourselves, vowing to 
to never do again what we did last night, only to find ourselves repeat. Dash. In the same mistake again just a few hours later. How many times did we attempt to cure our addictions with? Therapy, self-help books, cleanses, more exercise, or by changing a job. Or relationship, how many times did we move, thinking our shadow wouldn't follow us? How many promises did we make? How many times did we break those promises? Having suffered and struggled with addiction in its name. Friends, you've come to understand this first truth as it relates to recap. Dash. Believe. Addiction. Is. Suffering. We suffer when we obsess, when we cling. And grasp onto all of the delusions of addiction, all the impermanent. Solutions to our discomfort and pain. We've tried to cure our suffering. By using the very substances and behaviors that create more discomfort and pain, all our attempts to control our habits demonstrate how we then claim to the illusion that we can somehow control our ex fairy. Dash answers of the world or how others have treated us. We're still trapped in the prison of suffering. In fact, we're reinforcing its walls every time we act on our addictions. Liberation comes when we gain a clear understanding of where our real power lies and when we are throwing it away. This is a program of empowerment. It's a path of letting go of behavior that no longer serves us in cultivating that which does. Trauma and attachment injury. Many of us have experienced trauma, often described as the side. Dash. Chological damage that occurs after living through an extremely fright. Dash. Any more distressing event or situation. For some of us, this trauma can be a long-term experience. It's caused by an overwhelming amount of stress that exceeds our ability to cope and may make it hard to function. Even long after the event, trauma can come from childhood experiencing dash S or from events that occur in our adulthood. It can be sudden or it can develop over time from a series of events that changed how we were. Dash. See ourselves in the world. This also includes the resulting trauma from discrimination and bigotry. While trauma frequently comes from life-threatening events, any situation that leaves one feeling emotionally or physically in danger can be traumatic. It's not the objective facts of the event that define the trauma. The stress is relative in what might be considered traumatic for one may not be for others. Generally, the more terror and helplessness we feel, the more likely it is we'll be traumatized. Attachment injury can be just as insidious and harmful as trout. Dash.